follow the worship I can follow. Yeah. You know, not too many words mixed in between. You know, you get this old boy confused, you throw too much at it. <laughs> Amen. But worship is simple. Yes. Amen. Just I thank God this morning for my family. Thank God for you. Everything else, amen, is gravy. Yeah. Once we open our eyes, they, they, everything else is good. Amen. The fact that we got up. Yes, Lord. Yes. And I, I, I tell you, uh, I praise the Lord this morning. Mm -hmm. And you thank God for the men and the women's fellowship yesterday. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it was rich, beloved. Uh, and I, I will listen to the Pastor Tanya's message. Amen. Powerful. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. The moment you think you're in your own strength, you've already been real to say. My goodness. But the Bible says, in him I can do. Oh. Hallelujah. Don't y'all mess with me. Go ahead and preach that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to demonstrate this message to you. I want to. Continue to talk about follow me. Well, I'm going to ask, amen, a couple of gentlemen. I'm going to ask one of the Marines in here. Marine, come on, Elder. She says she correct me. And I'm going to ask the other Marine. The simple five quote. All right. To help demonstrate where I want to go. Amen. In this message, give me my my uh, foundation of scripture. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Come on, fishers! All right, that's a great name. Amen. And go ahead to the next one. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. The word follow, give me that definition up there. It's important that I share that. Because following precedes the making. All right. If you're not following, there can be no making. Oh. Come on, can you receive it? If you're not following, there can be no making. So he says, follow me. To follow means to go after, to go behind, to pursue. I, I love the next one. To chase. Y'all know how it was when you chase the man or woman you want? <laughs> huh? Come on. Bro, Fisher, you remember how it was when your mama she would chase you? Come on, I know you didn't chase her. She was, she was aggressive, bro. <laughs> Amen. To trail. To track me. He said, if you chase me, if you pursue me, if you trail me, y'all can sit down. He said, I will make. I will develop you. I will construct you in a way to where you're able to fulfill my command. And then nobody can do this in the flesh. So Tyler's message yesterday to the women was point on. It's not your strength that can do it's it. The truth. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Good if it was up to my strength, I would put it all over. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So he said, follow me and I will make you, or give me that one next one. To make means to cause, to commit you, uh -huh. to build you, uh -huh. to construct you. Uh -huh. To be fishers of men. Yes. So the following has to come before the making. You see a lot of people in church today 
that's still not made. Mm -hmm. And it's evidence that they have been followed. Okay, let me say that again. Mm -hmm. They still not made because they had been followed. Amen. For whatever reason, I'm not here to discuss the reason why they're not following, but the fact of the matter is that you're not made to catch fish or people, you're not following. Because that's where the Lord Jesus follows us in. Amen. Amen. And so, I want to go to the next verse and then we're going to demonstrate something. <clears throat> and they straightway, underscore that word, and they straightway left their nets and what they did, they start trailing him. They start following him. They start chasing on y'all that person. I'm trying to lay it out this way this morning. The moment he called, they started chasing. They started trailing. They started going behind and pursuing. How long will you be caught between two opinions? Send a buddy! 
and straightway. Straightway. Hmm. Let, let me give you an example of this. Can I do that? Yeah. I've been asking for a few years now for somebody. Because no one has stepped up straightway. All right. All right. Amen. 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 You see what I'm saying? So either you're still praying, you're hearing God about everything you ever did.
about that TV bit? <laughs> Notice that spirit. Right. 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 But these women, you never hear in scripture that they ever complain about abandoning. Because I believe that before Jesus called them, God had already prepared their hearts to know that they're going to be separated for a long time. Amen. 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 <laughs> Straight away, they did an about face. And they never looked back. Think about the power of a call. All right. Amen. Like that. <laughs> Some of y'all some weak jokers, man. <laughs> now I say that jokingly. Because in this hour, we've got to get permission to answer a call we know to be true. Amen. Amen. That means we're not even on their level yet. Mm -hmm. When you hear something, burn down in your spirit by God. Mm -hmm. They tell you, go over here, go do this, go call that person, go visit this one. And you are so bad. Mm -hmm. You try to fix it up to your spouse, husband or wife, uh -huh. as to what you heard. And how you feel you need to obey yeah. God. Remember, the, the Paul, Paul emphasized, Paul said, those who are not married, they can readily yeah. serve God. Yeah. Yeah. But those who are married, they got to think about what they going to, what they love and what they going to say. Amen. Right. But what would happen if we ever get free of that? Wow. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, now here we are, I'm qualified in when it comes to the call yeah. of yeah. God. Mm -hmm. That's right. To where you be like Peter's wife. Yielded him to the only one she saw greater than herself. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you wife go, want to go out and shut the door, go shut the door in the bedroom for prayer. Who you got? <laughs> and the women can't even pray because we are bound by jealousy. Amen. You got to describe a prayer like they had master to where no day time they got somebody hiding in the closet. <laughs> you don't think that's happening? That's happening in the church. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Y'all look at me all the here. I have resolved that Jesus, uh, not Tanya, is Lord. It does not take away from her, nor does it take away from me when she said, Jesus is Lord. That's why many today are not following. That's right. Oh God, you have to Because Jesus is not Lord. My Lord. Wow. Right. Right.
Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Straightway, they led. Now notice, I'm going to come back to that scripture. Verse 21 of Matthew 4 says, And going on from this, he saw other two brothers. So it wasn't just those two. James, the son of Zebedee, uh -huh. and John, his brother, uh -huh. in a ship with Zebedee, their dad. Uh -huh. Think about this. They fishing with daddy. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Come on, you got you to picture this, beloved. They went down dead. Men in their nets, and he called them.
There's a big joke here about this, but there's a serious facts here that's right. that we struggle with yeah. that's right. as a people. I'm, I'm talking about we, all of us, yes. struggle with as a people as to whether I'm going to answer him. That's right. That's right. Now, I can see, you know, somebody in the flesh. But we're talking about the call of God. Amen. To give you an example, y'all bear with me, Lord. Have yes, you yes, yes. Wow. Let me give you. Matthew 16, 24 says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come, if any man will follow after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now, I love this definition of deny from the Hebrew and Greek. Now, this has to do with you. Everything that's about to be said is about you. To disregard you. To lose sight of you. To, and forget himself and his own interests. How many of y'all got interest today? Every hand should go up because we all have interest. When you answer the call of God, you disregard your interests for the call of God. All right. To deny oneself is to give up one's interest for him. Isn't that a small thing compared to the sacrifice he has made for us? Amen. Amen. That he's died on the cross for us, took such weapons for us. Amen. And he said, all I want you to do is give up going to seven flags every year. Come spend time with me. Well, six flags that I have seven flags. Everybody looking kind of puzzled there. Six seven flags. I don't know what it was. Just stay here behind his head, boom. Sorry. Take another vacation out. Yes, sir. This is my concern. As I pray over this house, and others I'm connected to, and the people I encounter, I am looking at, in this season, no one wants to give up their own interests. That's true. Mm -hmm. This is across the board. Right. Right. And I'm saying, Lord, help us. Because we're not giving up our interests, but then you see these third world countries are giving up theirs, and you see a shift happening right before our eyes where the Spirit of God is beginning to rest on some of these third world countries that are denying Buddha and Muhammad and all of these other false gods. The Spirit of God is beginning to rest on them. And they're not concerned about having $300 Nikes on Jordan. And I'm telling you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing people without shoes and they're loving God and they're sacrificing to God. I showed you last a week or two where people are in the streets being beaten for the name of Jesus. Amen. And we don't want to get right into Jesus. Mm -hmm. I call her, her Parker, I hear the Spirit of God saying, Man, let's meet you at the church in the morning at 5 30, 6 o'clock. Man, I'm working on my pool. I couldn't. I go, well, wait a minute, boss. I got this pool. I told you I thought I had it ready before. The... What? Hmm. Okay, bro, you stay there and get your pool ready. And whatever God has at that moment has been missed. Amen. What am I saying? I need that as an example. That was his interest that he was not willing to give up the call. All right. Amen. 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 And, I, and I looked yesterday, I looked up and I see Brother uh, Jeff Madre rolling up in there driving three hours to be to a men's fellowship, nine o'clock in the morning. Amen. 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 
That stirred my heart. And his wife walked with him. Because he had, I'm sure he had other things to do, but he showed up and some about me and didn't even show up. Now I know some had to work, but three hours, and he was there early to fellowship with us. That tells me he's here soon. Can y'all give me five minutes? Sis, can you give me five minutes? Will you, Shorty, will you give me five minutes? Ten. You give me ten? Come in a minute. Can you give me five? Yes, sir. So I've got five, fifteen, twenty minutes. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Thank y'all for being so liberal. And I'll try to be brief with this. I just want you to catch the message. I made a few notes that's not in the message there. So as I started to look throughout the scriptures about how people were successful in God and what was their life like? What struggles did they face? And so last, last, yesterday during the day, I, I started thinking as I was walking in the yard about the Apostle Paul. And I just want you to just point out a couple things about him. Uh -huh. With regards to his attitude, his present attitude, and his attitude the moment there was a call uh -huh. from God. Uh -huh. And so, and, and this is all found in Acts 9. If you can go with me, I know that wasn't up there, bro, so I apologize about it. Got it. And I meditated putting this thing, and I said, no, I want to share this. <coughs> Acts chapter 9. I want to, here's the present attitude. Verse 1. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. That's his present attitude. Mm -hmm. He's threatening. Uh -huh. He's slaughtering. That's why he knows. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he sees Jesus as a threat to it, to their religion. Yes. That's his present attitude. What is my present attitude toward him? Because this is all about his attitude toward Jesus. Uh -huh. How do I know that? Listen to, listen to what he says in verse 2. And he says, and he desired of him, the high priest, uh -huh. letters to Damascus to the church. Look at that same spirit coming against the church. Uh -huh. okay. I want you to see something I ain't never seen before. Now here he is saying, I want letters to go to the church, the synagogue. Uh -huh. Now here what he said, he wanted to let us fall. <laughs> so that if I find anybody that looked like Jesus. <laughs> he didn't think he would find, if he, if he think about this now, he said, I'm going to search it in the synagogue, see if anybody in there looked like Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all better get this. The same spirit is moving and coming to the church. Say, let me see if I can find anybody that looks like Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That same spirit was going to the church. And said, this is what he said. His language was that if he found any of this way, the one that believed in Jesus, whether they were men or women, he might bring them back to Jerusalem. Mm. <laughs> you know the saddest part about this was when he said, if he found. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Right. Yes. right. Yes. Instead of saying, I'm going to that synagogue because that's what it is. Right. But if I find anybody that believes in Jesus, I'm bringing them back in 
chains. If Jesus go did, would he find anybody in here like him? His present attitude of magnified verse, of verse 2 says, and he requested of him letters of the synagogues at Damascus, authorizing him so that he found any men or women belonging to the way of life as determined by faith in Jesus Christ. He might bring them bound with chains to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. If they were in the way, are you in the way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ask the church again, are you in this way where your faith is in Christ alone? That's why he said I was searching for I, I'm not searching for those that belong to Judaism. Those that belong to our system. I'm looking for those that are in that way. That confess Jesus. Hallelujah. As Lord. They, they're still looking for those that confess Jesus as Lord. That same spirit. Now notice his attitude was then threatening and slaughtered. He wanted to humiliate those that called upon the name of the Lord. Amen. That's what he wanted. In Acts 9. Acts 9. You see where he met Jesus for the first time. Jesus revealed to him. He said it's hard for you. To kick against the prick. If you understand what a prick is. Every time you kick against it. It cuts you. Jesus said you can't kick against me. Without getting cut. You can't kick against me. Without hurting yourself. He said, so you can't kick against me and not be heard. <laughs> so then his attitude, he said, who are you? I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. That one moment of revelation. Yes. Yes was enough to change this murdering thought process. Yes. To change this attitude to where anybody that was found like Jesus that he was going to drag him in chain. That one revelation that Jesus is Lord. All right. Straightway. Uh -huh. Change the man's attitude for murdering. To listen to what he says in verse 6. And he trembled and astonished. So there was a mixture of rare fear and astonishment. Said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? All right. Do you want me to do it? Yes. He said, going into the city, boy, I'll, I'll talk to you later. He <laughs> going up. He said, you going in the city and wait for me. Yeah. And then he goes over. <clears throat> Three or four o'clock in the morning. And not. He said, get up. Now, Adam Nas could have been like us and said, Well, Lord, let me pray. Or maybe that wasn't the spirit of the prayer. Maybe I was dreaming about this thing. He says, And Anas, I got a man waiting for you. His name is Saul by name. He said, Go into it. He saw you in a vision. 
coming, laying in your hands on him, that he might receive his sight. Hold on a minute, Lord Jesus. Is this the same man that can kill your people? Man, I fasted too long at a gospel day. He said, yes, that's the same one, but now He's a chosen vessel. And Ananias got up and walked in and said, you know what I said to him, brother? He said, the Lord that appeared to you along the way. Now, how is he known? That was confirmation to Paul that this man was of God. He said, receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said that straight way he went preaching. That's right. Yeah. Straight way. Amen. Right there. <laughs> he didn't listen, y'all. He didn't have to pray about it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to run home and ask anybody. Can, can I answer this call? Because if I answer this call, I might lose him. See ya. If I tried to dissuade my wife and follow God, I wish she would tell me right then, see you later. All right. <laughs> me and Zariah Devil, we out here. Or better yet, you go get you a room somewhere. <laughs> if you want me to deny my Lord. Come on, stand to your feet. <laughs> Are you of the way that believe in the Lord Jesus to truly say that he's Lord of your life? I know it sounds good when we say it. Our actions tell me otherwise. And I'm talking about the whole house. And so Times like this, the Lord is saying, come on up now. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand my version of following. Amen. My thoughts are not like yours. Amen. My thoughts are if you will follow, you're denouncing your interest. And you're not taking forever to get there. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We praise you for your word. For your word is light to us and help to our flesh. And I thank you, Lord, for the examples in Scripture that you left on record for us, for us to measure ourselves and our decisions by as to whether we're truly following you. May we have the same attitude yes. that when we hear the call of the Lord, yes. immediately we respond to you. Yes. That you truly take up lordship yes. in our hearts. Yes. And that, Lord, anything that would distract us from following you, yes. that we cast off immediately. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, like the disciples cast off their nets to follow you. May we follow that example in our lives today. In Jesus' name. And Father, forgive us for always putting you as a spare time. May we follow you straightway even as they did. And we forever give you the praise, honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen.